the cavern is an interesting microcosm of activity within the show. Major plot points revolve around it. Let's clarify what was happening and, more importantly, why it was happening. The cavern was built by Horace Goodspeed in either the late 70s or early 80s. After the purge wiped out the Dharma Initiative, Jacob and Richard began using the cavern as a drop point for messages. Perhaps Jacob would leave written instructions there, or perhaps the two men would meet for more involved conversations. By this point, Jacob had long since gone into hiding from the man in black. The cavern became known as a place that Jacob occupied from time to time. When Ben became leader of the others, Richard might have told him this. Perhaps he told Ben that when the day comes for him to meet Jacob it would be at the cavern. We see that the cavern was surrounded by ashes to keep the smoke monster out. This was no doubt put in place by Dogen and Lennon, who were part of the same protective group within a group as Alana and Bram. It was their role to protect Jacob. However, that ash circle was broken at some point pre-2004. We do not know by who but it was most likely intentionally broken by Jacob himself in order to guide events towards the time loop. He allowed the man in black inside. Some time before the cavern was built, the man in black had been watching Benjamin Linus. Perhaps ever since the boy first came to the island. After the purge, the man in black would have seen how willing Ben was to betray his own people and kill his leaders. This put Ben right at the forefront of anti-candidates. As in, potential Jacob killers. When Locke demanded that Ben take him to Jacob, Ben had to take him somewhere to save face, so he took him to the only place he was aware of Jacob ever having been. The smoke monster scanned John Locke when he first arrived on the island. Not only was he a candidate, he was a very special candidate with a deep connection to the source itself. He had been on the island in the past, creating his own legend among the others, priming himself for leadership decades in the future. Unfortunately, Locke was also easily manipulated and amenable for coercion. And the smoke monster was watching. The two men make a pilgrimage to the cavern. Ben puts on a show of pretending to be special. Locke rumbles his game. The man in black uses his telekinesis to turn over the cavern and begin his long gestating ruse. He speaks to Locke, and only Locke. Help me, he says. This sows the seeds of discontent between the two men. Remember, the man in black needed to become a special candidate that would gain him access to Jacob's whereabouts, and he needed a motivated anti-candidate to carry out Jacob's assassination. For that, he would need Locke killed and Ben broken. The man in black almost gets what he wants straight away as Ben shoots Locke. If Locke had died in that Dharma pit, the man in black might very well have assumed the man's guy straight away in order to become the leader of the others. However, Locke survives because he cannot be killed on the island until he has fulfilled his time loop destiny. The man in black must engineer a more elaborate way for these two men to end up where he needs them. He has to get more involved and give direct orders. Locke can only die after the wheel has been turned and once he is off the island. At the same time, the island also needs to make sure events line up the way that they are supposed to. Locke attempts to return to the cavern for further instructions several days after his first visit. But the cavern is now moving through time and space because Locke cannot be told to move the island until the pieces on the board are in the right place. I.e. the Oceanic Six are off the island, because they don't travel back in time with everyone else until much later. Once everyone is in place, the island gives Locke the dream about Horace Goodspeed and guides him back to the cavern. The man in black has been waiting. He poses as fake Christian and pretends to speak on the behalf of Jacob. Once again, he is using the cavern to engineer Locke's demise and Ben's murderous motivation. He tells Locke to move the island because he knows, or at least senses, that John Locke can and will be killed once he is off the island. However, two things happen that the man in black did not plan for. 1. Ben pushes the wheel, not Locke. 2. Most of the candidates the man in black needs to kill so he can escape the island have already left. The Oceanic Six. He needs them back. So, the man in black waits for Locke to return to the donkey wheel chamber, which exists within its own time pocket in the present day. He tells Locke directly that he must bring everyone back who left, including Ben, then he confirms to Locke that he has to sacrifice himself. This reaffirms the message the man in black of 2007 has perpetuated back through time. This exchange between Locke and fake Christian in the wheel chamber is actually occurring in 2007, separately from where Soy's group has ended up in the ancient past. During the flash in the well, Locke was pulled into the donkey wheel chamber's time pocket. Ajira 3, 16 has already returned to the island. Fake Christian already knows that Locke will die, and that Ben will return with the body and candidates. 
He knows that Eloise Hawking will give the Oceanic Six instructions on how to find their way back to the island. This moment occurs in the timeline right around the point that Fatelock left Ben with Sun in the abandoned Dharma barracks to run an off-screen errand that we never see, nor that is ever followed up on. The reason why we never see that errand is because we already know what it was. Fate Lock transforms into Fate Christian and waits in the wheel chamber for the real Lock to appear. This is why Fate Christian knows exactly what he needs to say to Lock. Because it has already all happened. The cavern is the trigger point for the man in Black's long con. There are a few bumps in the road and things do not go according to his plan, while the island starts to move the cavern until the time is right for the time loop to begin. But everything that happens is all predestined to take place in the way that it does. The man in black is a major component in why the time loop takes place, even if he doesn't fully understand his role in it. All he wants is to become Locke and manipulate Ben so he can kill Jacob and wipe out the candidates. But it all starts with the cavern. Thank you for watching. Future videos will be forthcoming. Until then, stay lost.